What does war look like from a soldier's point of view? Tens of millions of YouTube viewers now know, thanks to a video taken in Afghanistan that has gone viral. That's right. Barry Peterson spoke with a man who shot the helmet cam video and got shot himself in the process in an interview you'll see only on CBS This Morning. Oh, I'm hit! I'm hit! It has become one of the most viewed three minutes of war video ever. I'm hit! 23 million hits on YouTube. A battle with Taliban forces in Afghanistan seen through the helmet camera of PFC Ted Daniels. Hey, I'm moving down! It started when he purposely moved into the open, drawing fire on himself to protect the seven men in his unit. Yo! You know, tactically, I agree it was not a sound thing to do. Um, you know, but I also remember Murphy's Laws of Combat. If it's stupid but works, it isn't stupid. Then a Taliban bullet hit part of his gun. It flew out of his hand. I'm hit! I'm hit! It was almost like if you took an aluminum baseball bat and hit a metal pole with it, that's what my hand felt like. Um, I was actually afraid at first to look down at my hand. Um, wanted to make sure I still had all my fingers and, and everything else. Daniels reached for his rifle. Enemy bullets exploded on the rocks, ah! sending fragments into his arm. You said later you're embarrassed. Yeah. Why? That you yelled that you're hit? You're hit. Yeah, well, that was a vulnerable moment for me right there. I kind of pride myself on being a tough guy. Not once in my life have I ever cried out like that. Mm -hmm. And um, ever. Why then? I thought I was going to die. His arm was peppered and bleeding, but he managed to get his rifle back. And by then, other men in the unit were also firing at the Taliban. There, the video stops. His camera battery goes dead. But then comes a harrowing run down the hill to rejoin his unit when the bullets came even closer. A round had hit the corner of my protection. Uh, they blew right off of my face. And I had another round skip off the side of my, uh, my Kevlar helmet. As to how the world got to see Daniel's video, a mistake. He uploaded it to what he thought was a private channel on YouTube. Another YouTube user, Funker530, who collects war videos, saw it and asked if he could post it as part of his documentary of combat footage. Daniels said yes. That's when the video went viral. I contacted him uh, through Facebook. I found him on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And I said, listen, can you please just take this video down? Uh, it's going to end up bringing a lot of heat on me. It's not something that I really want. Um, please remove it. Never got a reply. And it's still out there? It's still there. So really, you didn't really intend for the rest of us to see that? No, I did not. Did you make a mistake when you uploaded it? or? Obviously, now I think I did. Daniel said he violated no rules in taking the video. His commander did not specifically bar soldiers from making videos, as other commanders have done. The Pentagon discourages the release of videos, in part so as not to give the Taliban any tactical information or propaganda tools. As for Daniels, the important thing was how the battle that day ended. We made it. We made it, you know. Um... You know, we all made it out, and, uh, you know, we all made it to fight another day. And it felt good. For CBS This Morning, Barry Peterson, Fort Carson, Colorado. One more example of how technology shows us what war is really like. You know? Right, and how, many, how much interest there is in what's going on exactly. in Afghanistan, that 23 million times that video has been viewed, something from the front lines, a rare glimpse of what they go through. Absolutely.